I invite you to take in a nice, slow breath. Breathe in with the intention to connect to your heart. Exhale, slowly exhale and intentionally release any thoughts, any ideas, anything that no longer serves you. Continue to breathe in, to breathe in with the intention to drop deep into your heart. Exhale, relaxing, releasing, letting go of anything that does not belong to you and any thoughts of limitation or fear that no longer serves you. Continue to breathe in and exhale, imagining, connecting, anchoring in to the truth of who you really are, accessing your whole self, your multidimensional self, and feeling that alignment, that balance, that sacred space where you know you are protected, you are loved, you are adored. And as you continue to slowly breathe in and out, center in on your worthiness. How worthy do you feel? What is the value of you? Open up your space. Recognize that you can receive even more value. You have the ability, the capacity to receive even more of the truth of who you are. You can set the intention to remember your true value, to remember your true worth. Set the intention to allow your body, your mind, your energy, your spirit to remember the truth of who you are. You are a sovereign being and you are worthy. You are valuable because you are. And we want to go in and communicate with the different aspects of ourselves and the different aspects of our lives to find out how we can be more supportive to our different aspects. What do our different aspects value? Let's imagine our inner child, inviting our inner child to step forward. And we can lovingly ask our inner child, inner child, what do you value? Inner child, what is valuable to you? What do you value? And we might receive an image or a word or an idea or a thought. Our aspects can communicate with us in multiple ways. Maybe we just get a feeling. What would your inner child like to communicate with you? What does your inner child value? And as you receive these pieces of information, these pieces of data, it can help you support your inner child. It can help you support your whole self so you can show up and be a resource, be able to see all of your pieces, to align with them, to support them, to allow the flow to continue. 
Let's bring in your body. Body, what do you value? Body, what do you value? What does your body value? Let's talk to the emotions. We have a wide range of emotions. Emotional body, what do you value? Emotions, what do you value? <clears throat> Let's call in aspects of our warrior self, our light warrior self. Warrior self, what do you value? Notice what you notice. Allow your different aspects to showcase what is valuable, what they value, and how you can be a resource to support that. Receive information, ideas, feelings, sensations, frequencies from your different aspects. Let's call in your high priestess. High Priestess, what do you value? Let's call in our masculine aspects. We're all made up of many different aspects. Communicating with our masculine aspects. Masculine aspects, what do you value? What would help you feel more supported. What can open up the flow of frequency for our masculine aspects? And let's call in our feminine aspects. Let's call in the divine feminine aspects. Feminine aspects, what do you value? What other aspects would like to step forward and communicate with you? Do you have other archetypes that would like to express what they value, like to share how you can be a, a resource, a support, how you can see and honor these different aspects? Let's talk to different pieces of our life. Let's talk to our home. Let's talk to the sacred place where we live. If your home could speak to you, what does your home value? What supports your home so your home can feel in the flow, in alignment, grounded and anchored? Home, what do you value? Let's talk to our career, our jobs, our work. Perhaps we own a business. Career, what do you value? What helps you stay in alignment? What helps you flow your best flows so you can be in mutual benefit, give and receive? Let's talk to our spiritual aspects. What do, does our spiritual aspects value? What helps our spiritual aspects feel seen, honored, and respected? There's so many different pieces of me. There's so many different aspects of me. It is my intention to honor, to see, to recognize, to appreciate, to thank all of my different aspects 
that are co-creating with me for my favorite timeline. I want to mutually respect, mutually receive, mutually give, mutually exchange pure frequency, quality frequency, so all aspects of me can step forward, can flow, can be in alignment. It is my intention to remember my value. It is my intention to remember my worth. It is my intention to embody the truth of who I am. I am a sovereign being. I have a divine inheritance to receive all of me. It is my divine birthright to remember the truth of who I am. It is my divine birthright to access and know that I am valuable. I am worthy. I matter because I do. It is my birthright to be valuable. It is my birthright to know I am valuable. I am a sovereign being. And it is my intention to remember the wholeness, the fullness, the abundance of who I really am. I am a valuable being. I thank you. God, goddess, all that is, all that I am. I thank you, I appreciate you, I recognize you, I hold you in my heart, I am one, I am connected, I am in alignment, alignment is my birthright, worthiness is my birthright, abundance is my birthright, truth is my birthright, I am a sovereign being.